The new Toyota CEO is looking to make his mark on the company and create an instant impact on the market. And what better way to start than to introduce one of the most in-demand vehicles right now, a compact, low-cost hybrid pickup. Koji Sato, the new CEO, has just revealed the Toyota Stout pickup truck, and it looks like it's even better than the Ford Maverick. Join us as we look at the new $23,000 tiny pickup from Toyota and what the new CEO has said about it. The North American compact truck market was but a page in history until 2021 when Ford released the Maverick, bringing this segment back in a big way. Almost all automakers are racing to release something to compete with the Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz for market share. Manufacturers are looking back into their archives of discontinued pickups to see which lucky model is getting a relaunch. And while Hyundai technically did it first, joining the American light truck segment with the chic Santa Cruz, Ford has arguably done much better, at least based on sales of the new Maverick. Now, Toyota is throwing its hat into the ring as the company has made its intent to roll out a compact pickup truck. However, it has become evident that Toyota may still need some reinforcements in the truck segment, where the best-selling Tacoma is starting to show its age, and the new Tundra faces an uphill battle of epic proportions against the Ford F-150, Chevy Silverado, GMC Sierra, Ram 1500, and Nissan Titan. So it makes sense to move quick and release something to slot just below the Tacoma to try and gain market share where there's less competition. The Rising Sun carmaker produced the Stout between 1954 and 1989, with a second generation available in the United States during the 1960s. The model paved the way for the Helix and Tacoma, so its return to the market would have the benefit of reconnecting the dots and basically coming full circle. According to Motor Trend, a compact Toyota truck is in the works. The Executive Vice President of Sales for Toyota Motor North America, Bob Carter, and the Group Vice President of Product Planning and Strategy, Cooper Erickson, were both interviewed by the automotive website. These Toyota executives stated that they're looking at the compact pickup truck segment and hinted we could be seeing a new product in the future. Carter said, one of the spaces we're looking at that won't be short-term is where the compact pickup truck is going. You have Santa Cruz and Maverick on the market, and it will be interesting to see Scout, Today, we have the market really well covered with Tacoma, but a compact pickup could be a possibility and something we continue to look at. Ericsson added that the upcoming compact Toyota truck might be more geared towards city driving. He said, if there's a customer that needs a rugged, smaller body on frame vehicle, we can consider that. But if it's more for urban use and less extreme off-road, then it would make more sense to use the TNGA unibody platform. Naturally, all of this can be attributed to the Ford Maverick's phenomenal success, which earned it the crown of unibody pickup truck king last year thanks to a combination of elegant design, a modern platform, reasonably priced trims, and the standard availability of an effective hybrid powertrain, as well as a turbo flagship. It's logical to believe that competitors won't stay dormant for very long. But even before Toyota begins the OEM's massive procedures for a stout revival, the creative world of digital vehicle content creators is prepared to handle the computer-generated imagery part of the business. Demis Ramadan, the virtual automotive artist behind the Digimods Design YouTube channel, has taken on the task of revealing an all-new fourth-generation Toyota Stout in CGI and without much regard for what a unibody compact truck should look like. This is the latest unofficial attempt at rendering the Toyota Stout. As a result, this hypothetical stout is as tough as it can be, as opposed to the sleek looks depicted by the ritzier Hyundai Santa Cruz or the minimalist ambiance promoted by Ford Maverick. And this route could prove to be a very good one for Toyota if they follow it. Top Electric SUV predicts that the stout would have a dual cab design. It also could see the company's Texas-developed infotainment system on the inside. This system is available in different touchscreen sizes based on the variant. According to Toyota, the new system has five times as much processing power as the previous one. With the new audio multimedia system, you can choose a high-definition touchscreen with connected services that is up to 14 inches wide. The system includes a new voice assistant that can allegedly understand natural speech and assist drivers in controlling some in-car features, such as the climate and audio system, using vocal input. 
If Drive Connect cloud navigation is installed in the car, the assistant can even retrieve weather and sports reports as well as locate local coffee shops. The website mentions that a unibody platform might be preferable for the new Toyota Stout because most customers will use it on city streets rather than on rough terrain. Toyota can build the new Stout on the GAK platform, which is used by compact and mid-sized cars and crossovers like the RAV4, Harrier, Highlander, Crown, and others. Vehicles equipped with the GAK have a low center of gravity and a highly rigid frame. The hood and dashboard can be lowered to improve the driver's field of view. The GAK chassis has several advantages, including a comfortable driving position, ample cabin room, and large cargo volume. There's also a huge possibility that the Toyota Stout will not be fully electric, especially because of Toyota's stance on electrification. The company has publicly stated that they don't believe going fully electric is the best way to achieve reduced emissions, and it believes that hybrid powertrains and fuel cells are the way to go. Going by this, the most likely occurrence is for the Stout to get a hybrid powertrain. This would be good for the Stout and its cause to challenge the Maverick, which also packs a hybrid powertrain. It's simple to see why the Maverick is the top pickup truck at first glance. It's the only competitor with a hybrid engine and the most affordable truck out there. Prospective buyers are particularly cautious about how much cash they're willing to put down on a brand new car during these difficult economic times. Their purchase choice is also heavily influenced by fuel efficiency. Given that these pickups are unibody vehicles, the maximum payload and tow ratings don't mean as much. The Ranger starts at $27,400 for most basic specs, while the Tacoma starts selling at $28,000. Although it's impossible to get one at this price because they're sold out, the entry-level Maverick starts at $22,595 without destination charges. Based on what we know already, Toyota will want to price their Maverick competitor roughly $500 to $1,000 more so it remains competitive. According to the Executive Vice President of Sales for North America, Bob Carter, the next Toyota pickup truck could be available in 2024 or 2025. He stated that more information about the upcoming compact truck would probably be made public during Toyota's HQ Confidential 3 in June 2023. Ericsson also added, it'll be worth the trip. Unlike Ford, who has stopped selling passenger cars in the US, the Japanese automaker is doubling down on the North American car market, covering crossovers, passenger cars, SUVs, and trucks. For example, the manufacturing run of the Toyota GR Corolla will now extend past the first model year. With the recent confirmation of the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla Circuit Edition hot hatchback, the company has also revealed the 2024 Grand Highlander 3-row, 7- or 8-seat crossover SUV in response to the all-new Honda Pilot. Smaller vehicles like the 2023 Prius Prime PHEV or Corolla Cross Hybrid, as well as nastier concepts like the rugged Trail Hunter series, are also expected to hit dealerships this year. What do you think about this upcoming pickup? Let us know down in the comments section. If you watched until now, thank you very much. Please, consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.